Well, the warmer months mean it's time to enjoy Lake Champlain, of course, but a dangerous bacteria could be lingering, and officials want you to be able to spot the signs before you get too close. And Local 22's Haley Belay breaks down how cyanobacteria is affecting our region. Cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, is already popping up across the region. Thriving in warm, shallow, still waters, scientists have observed blooms already this year in towns like Colchester, St. Albans, Highgate, Cavendish, and Georgia. With a changing climate, we are seeing cyanobacteria show up earlier and last longer. Although it occurs naturally in our ecosystem, Lori Fisher, the executive director of the Lake Champlain Committee, says blooms are extremely dangerous to both humans and pets. You don't want to touch it. Cyanobacteria can give up cyanotoxins. And the two that we see most frequently on Lake Champlain, some are uh, liver toxin, microcystins that affect the liver. Others are neurotoxins uh, that, that affect the nervous system. Looking like a thick blue or green film on top of a body of water, the Lake Champlain Committee wants to get as many people aware of what to look for and the dangers. If you're a water person, we want you to be able to identify cyanobacteria, avoid it, keep yourself safe, and also report it. Run by a team of citizen scientists, the Lake Champlain Committee monitors the blooms up and down Lake Champlain. They are always encouraging folks to report what they see in their nearest waterway. You want to take a jar, a glass jar, the size of a pickle jar, and you want to invert it in the water. Um, don't skim it across the top, but invert it in the water. It's great if you can get out in about knee-deep water. And then you want to gently set it in the sun. About a half hour later, if the cyanobacteria is present, the jar will look more like this. Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. Now, if you're interested in becoming a cyanobacteria reporter, all you need are a set of gloves and that glass jar. We'll have a link to the Lake Champlain Committee's website where you can sign up on our website, myChamplainValley.com. An emphasis on the gloves. Yeah, I'm thinking, so when you go out, do you have to wear uh, waders so you're protecting your lower extremities if you're wading out in that water? It's, I would hope so, yeah. nasty stuff. Or just stay away. Yeah.